to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Durham Bulls and the Iowa Cubs. It's baseball on the show, and, and it's now, coming up next. Please welcome your Iowa Cubs. And now in the box, Vidal Bruhan. He will lead this one off today. One one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Myers will slide over and put this one away, and that's out number one. So next to bat will be Jordan Luplo. Jordan. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. All in all, a great afternoon for baseball. 73 degrees here at first pitch. Popped him up. Ball in foul ground. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Digging in will be Josh Lowe. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. The 1-2. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Center fielder on the run. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Now at the plate, here is Nick Madrigal. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And a strike. Threw him a breaking ball that time. Two and two. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. And stepping in, Connor Myers. Connor Myers. On that fastball is too much for him. One, one and two. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. So here that is hurt. Bryce Ball. No, no one aboard baseman. for him, and two one. gone here in the first. Ball. Off speed Ball, pitch misses count. here, and he runs it to three and one. Back-to-back -back strikeouts in the first right here. Pitcher is setting a tone pound in the zone. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. The 2-1 home will not catch the zone. Ball three. He's having a really hard time finding his rhythm and finding the strike zone. It's going to allow this offense to keyhole him in big situations. He's got to figure it out pretty quick. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. New inning set to get underway, and here comes the first baseman, Jim Haley. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Here's a swing and a little tapper in front of the mound. On the first, He's and up. there's one gone here to start the second. That now to bat, Grant K. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Bounce to first. Reined in. And there are two away now. At the plate now is Nick Schnell. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Now the one and one pitch. Fastball hit on the ground is short. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired.
Digging in, the switch hitter, number seven. He readies for his first plate appearance. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Opposite field to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. Next will be the designated hit. hitter, Michael Hermosillo. The designated hitter, Michael Hermosillo. Hits this one hard the other way. And that is going to sneak on through into right. It's the one out single. That's shortstop. Into the box now. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. No. Nope. So two balls and two strikes now. Two balls, two strikes. Uh, two, two. There goes the runner. But this is speared by the first baseman. And he'll take it to the bag for the out. And there's your unassisted double play. Top of the third set to get underway. And that'll bring up Mike Brasso. Here's the pitch. Oh, had him off stride that time. One and ball, it's one and two. two I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. So it was a swinging strike three. Michael Brasso goes down for the first out here in inning number three. And it's one and two. The M.O. of this pitcher in the early going is certainly establishing the inside part of the plate. He has been dominant. Sometimes you just got to tip your hat if a guy can effectively, consistently pitch inside like he is. Got him to chase out of the zone that time. Taylor Walls goes down for out number two in the top half. Now the three and two pitch. And this is popped up near second base. Sepulveda has got it and the side is retired. Bottom of the third now. And that'll bring up Andrew Romine. One one. Hey, that's a heck of a pitch right there. If he if he's able to execute with that type of velocity, fastballs up and in, I can't imagine. Not only is he going to break a ton of bats today, but he's going to open up that down and away with the soft stuff later in the game. The uh, two two. Bouncer up the middle. Scooped up. And there's Got one him. down now. Next to dig in, Jose Go Gutierrez, left. as he'll dig Go into the left-handed batter's box. Gutierrez. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. And here is strike three called on the fastball. Looked to be about now high level, but it's out baseman. number two instead. Nick. Got him swinging. Made him chase outside the zone that time, and that puts an end to the inning. So now into the box is Vidal Bruhan. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The old adage, pitching and defense have been stellar so far. They've certainly kept both offenses in check. Still a ball and two strikes. Now another 1-2. In 
inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Well, what do you do when guys keep fouling pitches off like this? I guess you can back them off the plate by throwing one inside. Hit in the air down the left field line. And foul. Lifted down the line in left. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. One and two now. One ball, two yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. Still one and two as he fouls it away. I love the fact that the hitter was able to foul that pitch away. I always thought with two strikes, you give the pitcher that inside part of the plate and you do your best to cover away. Two ball, two that strikes. misses, and we're even at two and two. Swing and he launches this one to deep left field. Looking up is the left fielder still ranging back. And this one is gone. A home run. At the plate, Josh Lowe. Now this ball's hit deep to left field. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. The first Digging in next, Jim Haley. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now the 2 1. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. Wow, that changeup is an absolute beaut. They call it the great equalizer for a reason. Check swing grounder to the right side. Fielded cleanly on to first, and there were two down. Now to the plate, here is Grant Kay. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Hit hard on the ground towards second. He's got it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now, and digging in is the outfielder, Connor Myers. Not trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. up to this point a walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup and it's fouled away payoff pitch one more time hey usually the second time through the order you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff but this guy's locating feeling really good about his fastball two back to back Two, one more time. And he finally wears him down as he strikes him out after a prolonged battle. That was good Number stuff. Baseman. Number 12. Ready now is Bryce Ball. Worked a walk in his first plate appearance. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. And a fast.
fastball blew it right by him and there are two down. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jason Hayward. will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Here it comes. He's one pitch away from striking out the side, but even more than that, to throw a donut up after your offense put up some runs, I can't tell you what that means to the boys in the dugout. Two balls, Counts even two to strikes. Hayward, two balls and two strikes. Rounded softly down the line toward first. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Now here it comes. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. All set for the start of the inning, and next it'll be the outfielder, Nick Schnell. The 1-1 one -one pitch. That's ball two. Two balls, one strike. Michael Brasso waits on deck. Oh, and this just jumps off the bat here as this is to deep straightaway right field, and you can pretty much forget about this one. That is a long home run. To the plate now, Michael Brasso. Now this one is blasted to left field and there's no doubt about it. Back to back jacks. Into the box Taylor Walls and a change up swung on and missed for the first down. Into the box, the Joseph Odom. The catcher. Joseph Still only one out in the inning. Odom. No oh, offer on that back. one. Two balls and a strike. Ball. He's fallen behind now. Three, three and one. one. Three ball. One, One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. Throw in time at first for out number two. Now and now here is Vidal Bruhan. Vidal. Two out, nobody Bruhan. on. Well two, above now. the letters with the fastball that time. Grounded to first, right to him, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So now to the plate, number seven comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Hard hit toward the hole. And that'll get on through in the left for a leadoff single. Now that the designated hitter. So Michael. now to the plate, Michael Hermosillo. In the dirt here. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. The 2-1 home. in the air down the right field line and that's taken in near the line as the runner tags from second and the throw
throw from right will not be in time as he takes third on the flyout. The batter. Now That's into the shot. box, Carlos Sepulveda. Sepulveda. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Sent on the ground out to second. Reined in. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. So the bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up Andrew Romine. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled off. Struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Your Jason Adam takes over to start now the sixth inning on the mound. Cubs, number 60. Jason. Ready to take his Adam. axe again. Jordan Luplo lasted a two-run homer in his last at bat. One one back up the middle and in for a base hit. Now that the set of people, Josh Lowe. In now, Josh Lowe. Good idea with the change, but it's two and one. Adam is a guy known for his lights out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty D, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit and miss, he'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up a lot of base on balls, and that can cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to pull their hair out. The 1-1 one, one home. And he fouls this one off. Ready to deliver the one and two. I got to count. Two and Sixth two. inning. Four to one is our score. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. He's through first and hustling for second. Now he'll get into scoring position with two away. The third baseman, number three, Grant K. Into the box now, Grant K. Just behind the fastball two there, strikes. two strikes now. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Jose Gutierrez. The 1-1 home. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. K into foul territory. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Luplo moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Nick Madrigal. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. That's a Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. Now batting, center field. Standing in now, Connor Myers. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Here comes the one-two. It's a fastball that misses. 
Madrigal, a runner at first with one gone in the inning. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. The first baseman, number 12. So the next to bat will be Bryce Ball. He was Ball. sat down on strikes in his last at bat. The 2 1 home. That's lifted the other way out to left. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. Dylan Maples is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 36. Seventh inning ready to roll. And standing in the outfielder, Nick Schnell. Here's the 2 1 home. And this one's low here, so the count swells to 3 and 1. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full 3 and 2. He must know something we don't know. That was a center cut heater with count leverage in a big spot. I, I don't understand why he's taking it. Field it cleanly, and the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Mike Brasso digging in at the plate. He went deep last time up. We're in the seventh now. Four to one, our score to this point. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. Count is two and one. Ball even at two and two. He's got it. And that's the oh. second out. Next to stand in is Taylor Walls. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. The 2 1. Is strike two swinging. Hey, find a way right here. Two outs. This guy has come in throwing bullets. If he can get this team into the dugout right here with another donut and they regroup, start passing the baton a little bit. We got ourselves some action. Here now the 2-2. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Here's one that misses inside and the counts run full now, three and two. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. Nope. 2-2 two, two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. And he looks at one that misses, and now that's batting. an excellent Kepler. job of making his man Kepler. throw a lot of pitches as he oh, toughs yeah. out a walk. Ready with the one and one. In the dirt, and now let's see. Right on the money, and he's that's cut now. down Kepler. trying to take second base. For the traditional Ryan Sheriff gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seven. Number 71. Ryan. Here's Jason Hayward now. He bounced out last time up. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings now and misses it. for the first out. Number seven. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Hit in the air down the left field line. Left fielder giving chase. And he makes the catch in the corner. Striding forward now, now is the, the DH, Michael Hermosillo. He singled in two trips Hermosillo. to the plate thus far. The 1-1 one, one home. Oh, two out, plate. nobody on. Oh, 
That's ball three, three and one now. Three balls, one strike. Sinker gets the outside for a strike. Three and two. Someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality A-B and start the line moving again. And he got him. Joe Biagini has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 41. Joe. Ready to begin the eighth. And next to hit is the catcher, Joseph Odom. Here's the payoff pitch. And a good take there will net him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. The batter number seven. The batter will be Second Vidal basis. Brujan. No Vidal. hits to this point. Brujan. Now the one and one pitch. Aye. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit, but unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough pitch to oh, pull the trigger. Right. To two balls and two strikes now. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Jordan Luplo is on deck. That's lifted the other way out to left. Gutierrez will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Now at the plate, Jordan Luplo. He's two for three and looking for more here. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Lifted down the line and left. And it's a foul ball. His heart sank right there when that ball met the bat, but just had him out front just enough to give him another shot at potentially putting him away. And another foul ball. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Now it'll be Josh Lowe not providing much out of the three hold in this one. Hitless in three at bats so far. Lifted the other way to left center. A dive and oh he can't hang on. And a relay home. But not in time as he's across with the run. At the plate now, Jim Haley. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Had to be sitting something hard right there because he gave up on that pitch, but it was right down the chute. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Here he comes again, one, two. Line towards center field. Myers finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. Matt Whistler is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 37. Now to the plate, Carlos Sepulveda, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Here comes the one two is a swing and a miss that's strike three stepping in once again is Andrew Roma he went down on strikes in his last at bat yeah always frustrating to go down looking everybody does it though you'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled look for him to be on the attack early in the at bat five one our score as we play the eighth. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at battle continue. And it's another king. So back to back strikeout victims to start this relief outing. The left fielder. Next, 31. it'll be Jose Gutierrez. Jose. Only four outs remaining Gutierrez. for them to try and rally back in this one. 
This is pulled into right, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So with that, we're not done with the bottom of the eighth quite yet. The batter, number one, second baseman. Stepping in now, Nick Madrigal. One and two. I'll tell you, if I'm pitching right now, I'm not throwing anything near the strike zone until these guys prove they can lay off it. They're just being way too aggressive. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Manuel Rodriguez enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Set to start the ninth in this one and set to go as the third baseman Grant K. A one and one count. Here's the pitch up high two and one now. To two and two now. I got to count two and two. Now the pitch. And this is hit hard up the middle. And this will make its way into center field for a base hit. And the leadoff man's aboard now to open the ninth. The bat. The left field. Nick. So now to the plate. Nick three. Schnell. Fastball called strike three. And there's the first out of the inning. So next to hit is Michael Brasso. He's working on a one for three thus far. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. The two-two. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. K, base runner at first with one out. Count still full, three and two. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. The battle. Next the it'll be Taylor Walls. 0 for Taylor. 2 here to start the afternoon. The 2-2. Two -two. Hit to short. Throw to second for the four shot and the side is retired. A six foot two inch right hander jogs in to take over on the mound. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Connor Myers. The 1 1. Hard ground ball to third. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And a good try to recover that time, but he'll beat it out as he's aboard to kick off the inning. Now batting. First In now, Bryce Ball. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Schnell will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward. He went down on strikes last time up. Runner at first here, one man out. Hayward. Fouled away. Just hung in there on that one. As a pitcher right there, do not be surprised if he throws the same exact pitch. He was lucky to foul that one off. Nope. That's and he takes very close to the inside corner here. Two and two, though. From the stretch. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Now that is Up next, seven. number seven. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. And this ball swung on and hit to center field. And this should do it. Whoa. Is there. 
makes the catch and the ball game is over. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. Five to one, the final total in today's game. The Bulls took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Tyler Glasnow is credited with the win. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Now is our final line score. First for the victorious Bulls. Five runs, seven hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For Iowa, one run, five hits, no errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 49 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.